Hello and welcome to Think About It, where we have just two primary goals. One, to get you to think about it, and two, to make more sense than Chris Matthews, who thinks West Point is the enemy camp. Well, we remember back when the stimulus was being debated, we were told it was an emergency. We had to have the money now, or unemployment rates would skyrocket. But if we would just pass the stimulus, we guarantee it will stay under 8%. With the national unemployment rate now at 10.2% and climbing, clearly that was all a lie. Michigan, the state in which I live, has unemployment at a minimum of over 15%. Most estimates are quite a bit higher. So the president, in his wisdom, calls a meaningless job summit. Why is it meaningless? Because the people who have been invited are not job creators. Prime example, case evidence number one, whispering in his ear at this summit, the governor of the great state of Michigan, our own Jennifer Granholm, who has done for this state what the Detroit Lions have done for offense in the NFL, who has done for this state what Dr. Phil would do if he were giving a lecture on hairstyles, who has done for this state the same sort of credible job that Joe Biden does when he fabricates events and locations. Man, a guy like that could still end up as vice president? I guess that makes sense. Since Jennifer Granholm has been tapped as a leading advisor on job creation in the state with the highest unemployment rate in America. The only growth industry in Michigan are moving vans because people are leaving here in droves. Her solution to that so far has been, well, we better increase taxes then because we're going to need more money to operate. So she's in the president's here. Who else? How about representatives from numerous unions, including those friendly folks from SEIU who believe that spreading the wealth around is the key to success in the country? It's sort of like having Mrs. Fields in charge of your nutritional plan as you seek to lose weight. Or it's sort of like having a tax cheat lead the Treasury. Ah, why those examples keep jumping up and biting me? Who's not at the Jobs Summit? Job creators. Private sector people. The Chamber of Commerce has been shut out because they have dared to differ with the president on some key policy issues like health care, where the Congressional Budget Office has said this will be a job killer. Do you realize that since January, in this nation, we have lost 4 million jobs? 4 million. Forget about those ridiculous claims of jobs saved or created. Forget about the tracking of money that goes to uh, congressional districts that don't exist. Ask yourself this question. Has the president and his team enacted policies to slow down and curb unemployment or to radically multiply it through the roof above estimates and promises and all the while smiling and telling you just give them a little more time? Well, my friends, If we continue giving them a little more time, it will be too late. My governor is giving advice on job creation. This week's sign of the apocalypse. Think about it.